Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you please invite your friends and share the link as much as you can This video will not stay for long in my channel just to let you know so you better download it after we finish uh, As you know here what we do we refute Islam But in the process of refuting not only we show you that Islam is stupid we show you that Muslims who defend Islam Suffering from low IQ and I'm talking about Muslims who claim to be uh, scholars and Muslims they think of them highly today we will show you how Muslims they uh, defend Islam by two ways mockery making fun of you same time giving you deception and false answers and today our topic is Didat, which the Muslim they think that he is a big shot, and we will show you that Didat is nothing but an ignorant. A person he came to Didat and he asked him a question, and right away Didat he switched to the mockery mood, insulting the person who had nothing. And he's not insulting; he's speaking with respect. And right away he started making fun of him. So let us laugh together. You see, you are like the young man. I was telling my friend Brian, you're the first questioner. I was telling him before coming in. I said, amazing situation. You see, you tell a fellow story about Romeo and Julie. You heard about Romeo and Julie? Yes. We have Layla Majnoon. You know, Layla Majnoon. Layla, Layla I means she was that black as night, and Majnoon was mad over this woman. See? So whole night you're telling the story about Layla, Majnun, or Romeo and Julie. In the morning, the clever fellow is asking whether Romeo was a boy or a girl. <laughs> Paul okay, okay. So the guy, he just asked him a question about if the Quran is the book of God. And look how it start mockery, saying, okay, we were telling a guy about the story of uh, 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 Romeo and Julie. At the morning, he told us, was Romeo a boy or a girl? Which means you are a stupid. But the fact, the one who do that is your prophet. We say to your prophet that God is a spirit. Then he says, is he male or a female? We say to your God that, you know, we have angels. He start to question their gender. We say to your prophet, what is about heaven? He said to us, Hur. And then we hear you, scholars of Islam, saying the following about Hur. You are confused if they are male or female. Is Romeo male or a female? Let us hear what Zakir Naik will say. Watch and laugh. What will the woman get in paradise? Actually, the word Hur is a plural for Ahwar, which is applicable to the man and Hawar, which is applicable to the woman, and it signifies the characteristic of Hawar, which means big, white, beautiful eye, and describes especially the whiteness of the eye. <laughs> the similar thing is mentioned. <laughs> so the word Hawar is a plural name, it's not a male, it's not a female. The word Hur is not a male, it's not a female. And so in Nisa chapter number 4, verse 57, it says, Azwajin Mutaharatun, which means companion, pairs. So the word Hur is rightly translated by Muhammad Asad as spouse and also by Abdullah Yusuf Ali. Abdullah Yusuf Ali as companion. So Hur actually means a companion or a spouse. It has no gender. For the man, he will get a good lady with big, beautiful eyes. And for a woman, she will get a good man with big, beautiful eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody tell uh, the dad that you Muslims are confused about gender in your book. The guy is asking you a question, have nothing to do with gender, you idiot. He's asking you, is Quran the word of God? Why you are you making fun of him? If we go in the Quran, you will see how stupid those who claim to be scholars. The Quran says it clearly 
that the whore are females but because all those donkeys who defend Islam they don't speak Arabic including did that himself I made a video just a few days ago where did that he said me myself I don't speak Arabic same obviously same as Zakir Naik anyone who speak Arabic he will say right away he will notice in the Arabic in the Quran it says Yatmutha Hunna Hunna in Arabic when we say Hunna this is for female this is called noon and Nuswa the noon the, the letter noon here we add it if we want to make it a female Yatmutha Hunna so this donkey he is trying to fabricate meaning in the Quran saying the question was why in the heaven of Islam a man he will have 72 versions but the, the you know but the woman she will not have the same so now he fabricated the meaning and he made that the word hur is about male and female the all what it, what, what hur mean that they have a be big beautiful eyes the fact the word hur have nothing to do with eyes at all the word hur that's mean you can see through you can see through this why if we go in the hadith we will see their prophet saying that those hur why they are called hur because simply you will see through their bones you see it why they are whore because they are so white to the point we can see through their bones they are so beautiful the hooris are so beautiful pure transparent to the point we can see the marrow of their bones so when you bring a donkey and you call him a scholar you get nothing but a comedy show so now i'm asking you did that oh he's dead sorry was romeo a boy or a girl <laughs> now we continue the that here is trying to explain the Quran and it was a very embarrassing question this is why he's upset from this uh, young man the man asked him why in the Quran there's a contradiction about how Allah he created the earth and the heaven and one verse says that Allah created the earth and the heaven in six days and one verse says that Allah created the earth and the heaven in eight days. So which one is the correct one? All right. Let us see the answer. I'm just screwing down so we can see the question tonight. First question. We must give him another applause. Yes. I'm answering that brother there. I said, this was the first question tonight by God. He said, you see the Quran, we mentioned in the Quran just now, I read to you that the Bible says that God created the heavens and the earth in six days. The Quran says created in six days. The days are, we won't go into details, six days, six days. He quotes another chapter, chapter 41, verses so and so, 9, 10, 11, 12. He said, it says, God created the heavens and the earth in eight days. Now, he hasn't read his readings, thumb sucking from somebody, somebody told him so, and he uttered the words. If he saw the Quran, the Quran doesn't say anywhere that God created the heavens and the earth in eight days. Never. No, no, no. Hey, no, no. Hey. But, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. You see how they mock him, mockery? The Quran nowhere says Allah created the earth and the heaven in eight days. But this is not the question. There's a contradiction. If we calculate them, they will, will come to be eight. Yes, this is a contradiction. You say the Quran says the, the earth and heaven created in six days. And then when we look, we will find that they are not six days. They are eight days. This is the question. He's not asking you why the numbers of the creation of the Quran of the earth and the heaven is eight days. Listen carefully. There is some some there is some basis for his question the Quran doesn't say you see like what I said one none that's a contradiction four or forty that's a contradiction if the Quran said six eight also contradiction we'll have to admit but the Quran doesn't talk like that at all it doesn't talk like that at all you see he's tongue sucking from what somebody said he doesn't know if I give him the Quran he can never find it that has got you busted 
this is a chapter 41 verse number 9 and 10 does it really say is it really true that we cannot find it or this guy is a liar read carefully with me and laugh at the liars and you can tell me any translation you wish by the way any translation all of them for me I do not need to read translation for me I have it in Arabic in the front of me it says it clearly خلق الأرض في يومين وتجعلون له أندادا ذلك رب العالمين وجعل فيها رواسي من فوقها وبارك فيها وقدر فيها أقواتها في أربعة أيام سواء للسائلين translation your translation Muslim not mine which is nothing but fabrication you said if you read the Quran you will never find that what a scam read carefully do you indeed disbelieve him and the sign compared to him who created the earth in two days? He created what? The earth in two days. He continues saying, after creating the earth, he set up firm mountains on it. The Quran teach that the mountains are something set up in the top of the earth which is very foolish because the mountains are coming from inside the earth not something you place in the top of the earth and then he provide with substance assistance and partition to the needs of all who seek like you know water trees etc grass so let us see how many days and that all was done in four days the Muslims here they add saying here all is was done in four days the earth created in two days the verse after it Allah explaining what he did after he created the earth in four days so the total now is six days already then the verse after it says after he finished number uh, stage number one which is creating the earth and then creating the mountains and the substance in the top of the earth which took four days then he turned to the sky and the sky was a smoke which means was nothing and then he made the earth or sorry the heaven seven heaven in two days the total is eight so what the that deception is you will never find anywhere in the Quran it says that Allah created the earth in eight days we do not need it to say it's clear the Muslim they try to defend they say to you oh no here he's saying four days which means everything took four days that will not be true and we can get that busted easy because if everything took four days you do not need to say we created the earth in two days you can say side chapter number two or number 10 and number nine together and remember by the way uh, the verse i mean when muhammad he said that those verses are not exist i mean number nine and ten this is the muslim trying to copy from the bible to organize the quran there was no nine there's no ten there's no eleven there's no fourteen this is this is all later fabrication of the muslims trying to make it look like the bible just take that into your consideration which means this is a continuous speech so tell them O prophet indeed that we have created the earth in two days And after that, after creating the earth, so the earth is done. So what the second stage? The second stage done in four days. So now what we have, we have a stage A creating the earth, stage B creating what in the earth, stage uh, uh, C creating the sky. The total is eight. 
now how we can get them more busted to say that this is what happened that the God of Islam before he moved to the heaven he was working for six days on earth who is more knowledgeable about Islam Muhammad or did that this is a question I give it to the Muslims who of you Muslims more knowledgeable about what Quran is saying you or your prophet if we go to the hadith we will find the Muhammad saying the following confirm me what is written here this is a Sahih hadith in Sahih Muslim they can note they cannot say this is weak and actually the Muslims they have a lot of argument about this hadith but at the end of the day they confirm that they cannot deny that this is a Sahih hadith look what Muhammad said Muhammad he got the dad busted Abdul busted Islam busted and nobody can defend Islam no more unless you want to say to me that your prophet he is a stupid he do not know what the Quran is teaching and he himself he don't understand and you understand the Quran better than him Muhammad said Allah the exalted the glorious creator who is talking Allah messenger who is reporting Abu Huraira Abu Huraira is from the most trustworthy reported of hadith in the history of Islam so they cannot say it's a lie this is Abu Huraira and Abu Huraira here is not copying from somebody else Abu Huraira is a first-hand witness Muhammad he took his hand when he took which is very funny and weird Allah messenger took my hand he hold my hands and said so he is not hearing this from somebody else he heard it directly from Muhammad Allah the exalted the glorious created the clay on Saturday so this is day number one take a note Abdul this is day number one and then he created the mountains in Sunday this is day number two created the trees on Monday this is day number three and then he created all things in time and labor in Tuesday. And this is day number four. And then he created the light in Wednesday. And this is day number five. And then he caused animals to spread on th th Thursday. Do you see it? This is day number six until now he did not go to heaven until now he's just working on earth and then he created adam in a friday afternoon total is seven days but we will focus in the creation of the earth now we will forget about the creation of adam so we will take the day number seven which is a stupid of muhammad to say because that will make it funny so we will count only the six days as you see Allah here is just working on the earth so when did that he lie he says nowhere nowhere do you see it Muslims Muhammad he is saying here clearly that Allah he spent six days working in the earth so chapter 41 verse number 9 and verse number 10 is in total agreement with this hadith but it is a contradiction with other verses in the Quran where Allah he says that he created the earth and the heaven in six days so when this uh, 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 Indian man he asked the that a question about why this is a contradiction and the that he denied that there is nowhere in the Quran it says that you are a big fat liar as you see so now two days after he finished the earth this is totally already already six days after that we have two days more to he create and finish the heaven as we see in the Quran in verse number 11 and 12 so this is what we notice about the Muslims in order to refute us they have to deceive us 
they cannot refute us with dignity and honesty we have to play the game of deception for we belong to the God of deception otherwise I challenged you that to say why he is lying I mean do he understand the Quran more than his prophet do this Abdul understand what Quran is saying more than his prophet he would go don't tell me that did that he never heard this before actually obviously he never heard this before uh, because I remember the that yesterday actually yesterday a Muslim he called us he asked me the same question did that he asked did that once he said in my debate he said your Bible says that the the the, the, the sky the the Sun was created in the fourth day <laughs> so the earth was without light for four days uh, but this is what his prophet said as you see in the front of you the light was created in Wednesday who is saying that Muhammad so the Muslims always assume that you are a foolish man who do not know anything you are ignorant you have no education our Bible says that the first thing God created he said let me light and he called light day before he created even the Sun he have light already he created light so nowhere in the Bible it says there was no light but here as we see this is in your prophet explanation that the first thing he created the clay and then the animals and etc and then or three sorry the animal is after the trees and the substance and as you see all of this and then at the end in stage number six he created the animals and the last stage he created Adam in the day number seven So they lie to us in order to deceive us because there is no dignity there's no honesty only stupidity and they think if we play mockery we can shut you up mockery is the way to silence you to make it to make you look like a fool but yet they are the fool so I'm going to make this video short so people will be easier for them to download it and I'm going to come back exactly after five minutes from now are we good and please download this video immediately I'm not going to leave it in my channel to be sure that all of you are downloading the video give me five minutes I will create a new broadcast and I will be back with you again don't forget to download and to share and let us get the liars busted for this is what we do we got them busted glory to the truth and the truth will set you free and the Messiah he said I am the truth and Allah in the Quran tried to copy the name of Jesus and he said he is the truth the thief and they said to you where Jesus says I am God worship me how he can be the truth if he is not God how a man can be the truth is not God how he can be the Alpha and the Omega how he can be the beginning and the end how he can be the resurrection how he can be what God called himself I am I am the Good Shepherd why you call me good only God is good join us again after five minutes and we will be with you getting them busted as usual thank you very much and see you soon just five minutes guys take care don't forget to download please don't forget because sometimes we have to make it clear that there is something missing in our work there's a few only download and the rest are just watching we are not a comedy show we are doing a mission either you are a Christian for real or go watch TV watch cartoon either you are with or against the Lord he don't take people who they are so so if you are either you are cold or hot so I can swallow you what the Bible says so choose to be don't be just a warm water nobody can swallow be someone be Christian thank you very much and see you soon bye bye